So today I'm going to share with you how to make a quick and easy mini album base in less than 30 minutes. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you how to make a quick and easy mini album in less than 30 minutes. Now this tutorial is really a beginner's friendly tutorial. So if you have never made an album before, don't be afraid to give this a try. And this is going to be super fun and easy to make and to decorate as well. So I'm going to give you the walkthrough. Then we're going to get right into making this book. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video also let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see a part two of me adding more elements and uh, growing this book and decorating this book so this book measures eight and a half by six inches and it has a two and a half inch spine and four signature pages the way this book was put together was super quick and easy but also really practical because you can definitely customize the way you add your pages and just change the layout if you make multiple of these books they will all like turn out a little bit different as well uh, so when we open this book we have a flap here on the inside cover and then another one here so I guess the theme for this book was twin pages because I really play a lot with symmetry but again you can definitely change this up a little bit uh, so these two open up and then here on the next two pages um, these two open up <laughs> like that as well you can most definitely make them so one opens up and one opens down without any issues and then this next page opens like that as well and then on the next page i kind of just repeated the same layout and then here on the final pages these two also open up so it's a really really quick and easy uh, beginner friendly base again let me know if you would like to see me add more elements to this book or decorating this book on the description box below and now let's make this together so we are going to be using some craft color cardstock and i'm just going to be using 65 pounds for this book this page is eight and a half by 11 and we're going to score along the 11 at six inches okay and then we are going to fold along the score line so that is going to be mainly our page so we are going to be doing uh, i'm gonna do four of these type of pages okay so again eight and a half by eleven you are going to score at six inches along the 11 inch side and then just fold that and then here is the next and so we have four then i'm going to cut four pieces and these are going to be eight and a half by six okay so i believe i have four pieces here and i'm going to score all these pieces at half an inch along the eight and a half Okay, so along the eight and a half, we are going to score at half an inch and half an inch here. And then we're going to fold along the score lines. Okay, so here we have two. I'm going to bring the first pages that we created and then on the back we are going to add those pages so I'm going to use my glue and we're just going to add a little bit of glue here along the half an inch and we are just going to line this up along the top and then we're going to press down okay and then we're gonna do the same for all these pieces so I'm going to add 
the glue along the top okay and press down and here is the next down and then this one here we are going to add the glue along the top and then press down okay so now this page is going to open up on one side let's press down here and then it's going to on the back open to one side and it doesn't matter which way you glue it it's like this one will open this way and this one opens this way and then they both open to the back uh, i mean to the top but if you wanted to you could flip them and then make this page open to the bottom so it just depends on at the end which way you glue them and there's no right or wrong you can put this on the front and this on the back and we're going to be doing that uh, once we add we put join them together so now for the next step is going to be creating the hinges and for this book i am going to have just a half an inch gusset in between these pages so we have four pages um, and i'm going to be cutting five pieces of two and a half by eight and a half okay so two and a half by eight and a half and then i have two more here and then i'm gonna need one okay now these pieces that are two and a half by eight and a half we are going to score at one and at one and a half and we are going to do the same for all these pieces so i have two here okay so we're gonna score at one and at one and a half and one and one and a half and one and one and a half and then we are going to fold along the score lines. Okay, so we have that. Here is this. And then fold along the score lines. So we have our five pieces and these are going to be our connector pieces. So now we are going to decide how we want to have our pages. Like here's when you want to figure out the order. So um, this is going to be your first page, right? And so this is going to open this way and the back is going to open up. So I know this is my first page. I'm going to grab my... Um, hinge piece and i am going to open this up and this is going to be glued on one on the side and what you want to do to these pieces is to take out um, just a little bit of the top and bottom okay just so it doesn't uh, touch any bending lines so not on the half an inch section, but on the two sides, you do want to level the corner there. And then I'm going to glue this onto this page. So notice how I am opening this up so I can glue it down. And then I'm just gonna add my glue here. 
and I'm gonna glue this right there and I'm making sure I have a little bit of space in between the edge of the page and the bending line here okay so you want to make sure this is still bent because when you close this you want to make sure you're not on your bending line you want to make sure this still closes when you put down your flap okay so that is gonna be our first page now we want to decide which one is going to be our next page you can have this one here so they both open up or you can have um you can have it like this so this one's op this one opens up and this one opens to the side so you can play around with the different uh, layouts or you can also have it so this one opens this way and then the back will open down so it's really fun because it just really you can just not even think about it and then see how your book looks at the end and trust me you can do like many different variations of these projects so i'm going to just go for the idea of having these two um, coming up so i'm gonna open this up and glue this piece down Okay, so I'm gonna add my glue on this one inch and we are going to just glue this making sure my uh, bending line is gonna be clear of this layout there okay so maybe more back and there we go and so now we have two opening pages on the top now I'm going to close this and we are going to add the next hinge piece here okay so we are just going to put this one and I'm also going to take out you don't really need it for this page but I'm just gonna do it for every page okay so we're just gonna glue this right to the edge This hinge is gonna go right here. Okay, so there we go. And then we are going to pick our next page. So it could be this one that also opens up, or we could turn this around and have this one that also opens to the side. And I have this thing, uh, if you've been following me for a while, that I just really, really like symmetry. And so I'm gonna go for these pages to open like that. Once we add um, the paper and additional layouts, you can make the pages look different. But to keep this very simple, I am just going to uh, make some of these pages the same and kind of much okay so here we have those so now we have three pages added so now we're gonna turn this to the back and we are going to now add the next connector piece here okay so I'm gonna glue that one right there and we do want to Again, take this out and take that out. And I am just going to glue this next piece. And we're gonna put that right there. Okay, press down. Okay, so now this one opens up as well. So what I'm going to do is add this other one. And so now we're going to glue. And open up. Okay, and then press down here. Okay, and then you can probably see that I glue it 
wrong by accident so i just took it out and put it again and that's why i like working with glue because you can easily just take it out and fix it if it's not you know if it's not too late okay so here we have these two that open up these two that open to the sides these two that also open up and then we have the front page that opens this way and then we have the back page that opens that way. now we also have these two extra hinges and what we're gonna do is just put one on the end uh, here at the end and so I'm just gonna glue this one on the edge okay and so these are the pieces that are going to connect to the core okay so I'm just making sure we're right on the line and we can still fold this without gluing the bending line Okay, so that is one, and now I'm gonna do the same on the front here. So I'm just gonna lay everything flat, open that up, and we are going to glue this piece. And what I love about this construction is that we're not really creating like hinges, so this is just super, super easy and really fast to do. Okay, so we pretty much have our book like this is a complete book that you can decorate of course we're gonna be maybe adding more elements um, now what I want to do is add the covers to our book so now we're gonna work on the cover so I'm going to use one piece of chipboard and I'm going to cut this at eight and a half by six Okay, so you're gonna have two pieces of that and then we're going to cut one piece at eight and a half by two and a half and we are going to wrap these three pieces together using our cardstock so we are just going to grab three of these pieces and i'm going to add a little bit of glue and join them together here okay and then the same for this one a little bit of glue and then we're going to add this next piece here okay and then we're just going to glue our um, chipboard pieces so you want to start with the spine okay so we're going to put the spine right at the center and we're going to put that right there and then we're going to glue these two other pieces and you want to leave a little space in between the two when you glue this down okay so there we go just one and two okay so leave a little space in between and press down and then you want to trim the extra and same thing here and then we're gonna cut the sides there and there and then we are just going to add the double sided tape on all four sides okay, so here is this one tape here and then we're gonna do some tape and then the tape 
and press down. And then we're just going to start folding our cardstock. So you want to go from the center to the sides and just go really slow. And every time you uh, uh, press here, you want to fold it down a little bit more. And then eventually you're just going to press down all the way. And then we're going to remove the tape and fold this down okay and then you're going to score here on your bending knives and so we're gonna do the same And so there we go. Now we have our base ready and we are going to be adding our pages. So we're just going to simply glue all of these back spine to the chipboard. And so you want to make sure that you line up this first score line here from the one inch to the bending line. So we're going to glue the one inch down and then you're going to glue all of these and just kind of have these bending lines match those bending lines there. So I am just going to add glue all over the back. Okay, and now we're just going to match these and then these uh, will be exactly the same the same size as the cover so you don't need to leave a space uh, and what I like to do is kind of go page by page and just press down okay and then until we get to the last page here. And just press down. And you make sure that um, the bending line does fold. Uh, and then you wanna let it dry for a second too, but I just wanted to make sure that I have my gap right on top of that bending line. Okay, so here we have our pages added to our book. And, and then what we're gonna do next is cut two more pieces of cardstock. And I'm actually not going to cut, I'm just going to score. And so these pieces here, I am going to um, score at, along the 11 inches, we're going to score at five and three quarters. Okay, so and then we're just gonna fold this down and we are going to do the same for this other one so along the 11 inches you're going to score at five and three quarters and then we're just going to fold and these are going to be the pieces that we are going to add to the inside covers so we're just going to open this up and add one here okay so i'm just gonna add my glue Let's see if i can get some glue okay and that's gonna go right there so press And then we're going to glue this other one on the back. 
And these pieces are going to also protect your hinges, your pages from coming out. Okay, and so there we go. Just gonna put this one on this side there. And press down. And so there you go. Now we have our blank base book. Let me know if you guys would like to see a part two on me adding different elements to this layout. This is a really fun, easy base to begin with. You can, of course, just decorate this book and have it finished. But if you would like to see um, me add other layouts just let me know on the description box below and i will be happy to do a part two for you guys hope that you enjoy this quick and easy tutorial don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this and i will see you guys on the next one bye bye